It's an interview for Pete Magazine, uh, a little bit of a special one. Uh, obviously, everybody knows that uh, we do a lot uh, of interviews and things uh, for Bare Knuckle. Uh, but I'm sitting here with sort of quite a range of people. On my right, uh, I've got Dave Radford here. Everybody knows Dave Radchard, or Radford even. Proper old school legend. And then on my left here, um, we've got some of the new breeders, as people like to call them. Uh, Scott Midgley and Billy Hawthorne. Um, it's a little bit uh, dodgy for me because I'm sure at one point or another Scott's going to try and put his hand on my knee, but I'm not going to do that. Um, we've been doing an interview uh, for Mercury Sports Network, uh, who are going to do the uh, pay-per-view TV uh, for the up and coming fight with Dave, uh, Dave Radford and James McCrory. Um, and it's, you know, it's just a little bit of sort of chatter from there. Dave, I was wondering, I mean, we were talking earlier on in... Obviously, you go, you're old school, you go back a long time uh, in the fight game. This sort of new breed that people talk about, the likes of these lads here, yeah. what sort of advice would you, would you give to them? Um, I think, well, I think the main thing is, like, um, obviously, we hope, we're hoping now that it's going to be a lot, more, um, a lot more out there and everything and people yeah. are taking notice. But my main thing is, with, with such as these young young fighters, is to be safe and that. But the most of the training, they've got to train uh, because, um, as I said, one, if you if you don't fit, you, you're taking ammo what you shouldn't be taking. But also, when you are fit, you obviously you're looking for winning that fight. And being fit and healthy is going to get you through that. And uh, I, I do think that's what every fight should be: is one percent, hundred percent every time they go in there to be fit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely. I know, um, Scott, Dave's one of your sort of heroes, and we were talking earlier on, you'd love to get in the ring with him. Just to see you've been in the ring with Dave Radford, um, what sort of motivated you to get into this sport? Um, not so motivated me to get into the sport itself. I've always been a fighter, um, not just boxing, but obviously I've been a bit of an idiot in, you know, in my past. Um, I don't mind a good pub scrap, to be honest. So I'd rather do something where you can get paid for it and not get lots up, lots up at end at night. So, no, that sounds um, good to me. And now, obviously, it's turned into a good sport. It's one of the oldest sports in the world, but now it's kind of the newest sport as well. So, I don't know. I just I, I thought I'm 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 made for it. It's more my it's more my cup of tea than um, see so your MMA, MMA guys these days. You know, they've already got ten years training already. Yeah. So if I, I try and get into that, I'm already ten years behind half of these. You know, ninety percent of them are not as tough as me, and they've not can't mm. hit as hard as me. But they've got the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu background, they've got the wrestling background, you know, all the grappling, which I'd have to, I'd be so far behind in that. So I didn't want to take up that at 30 year old. Um, I didn't want to take up boxing again. Because, same again, you've got, you know, a 21 year old kid who'll just run rings around me. Yeah. It won't, won't ever hurt me, you know. He'll never really want to go toe to toe, but he'll just win points. And I don't want to look silly against someone who's, I know I'd beat all day long, in, you know, in a real fight. Whereas this, I think I. I I've I've got it I've got it for this I think yeah. I've got everything for it I've got a great chin I'm fit I hit hard and I'm I'm, na I'm naturally fast so yeah. I, I think I'm very got, modest as well yeah. <laughs> yeah so yeah I think I'll be great <laughs> What about you Billy um, I mean you've sort of burst on the bare knuckle scene um, you two bare knuckles uh, two bare knuckle bouts uh, still unbeaten what sort of motivated you to get into this Why well, as you know I've been a boxer since I was eight year old and when it come to Newcastle James McCory contacted us and said, do you want to fight on the show? And obviously I've watched his fight with Dave Radford a couple of times and I really enjoyed watching it and I really wanted to give it a go. And now that I have given it a go, it just seems more of a sport for me. Obviously I still do my boxing, I still love my boxing, but I prefer to do the bare as it's more my sport. Yeah. It, um, I mean, it seems to be going a lot more mainstream now. Obviously the, the pay-per-view TVs were mentioned. Um, but I mean, we were talking earlier on, I mean, there's actually going to be a, a film made pretty soon, um, The Angel of the North, uh, about this, um, featuring James McCrory and sort of Dave Radford. Um, how are you feeling about that, Dave? It's, it must be a pretty good thing that, you know, there's a, a movie being made that includes you about what you've done in your life. You must be proud. Yeah, yeah. Um, Cy Briggs from um, London's got in touch with us and um, he's, he's been to this place a few times now and I've been down London to see him and... Uh, it's all, all going ahead and it's it's going to be a, a, a good film, you know, he's, I've read everything what he's done about it and, and said uh, and, it, and it's on its way and it's, it's, it's yeah. going to be good and it, it'd be great, it's great that I'm, I'm going to be in a, a part of this film, do you know what I mean, about 
me and James's uh, fights mainly as well, uh, and it's, it's going to be a really good um, a good thing as people can when they watch the film, then they'll probably look us up on YouTube and and see uh, see the real fights and, yeah. and what it's all about. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. I did you say I know? I mean, I know Sai as well, and he's really sort of into this. He came to the the last big bad show at the Castle Legends to be made, and at the end of that fight, I was talking to him and. He was just blown away by the whole thing, the safety, the respect. Yeah. I don't know sort of what he expected, but he's really sort of up for it that he wants to show it really, you know, how it is. Yeah, yeah. Who are they going to get to play here, do you think, then? I don't know. It'll have to be some good-looking hard man, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I mean, he tells me, I spoke to him the other day, he's got someone for James. Uh, he's looking, he's looking, but um, I won't I won't have a clue. I won't have a clue yeah. he's got for me. Yeah. But when you see a good looking hard man, yeah. I, I bet your Scots thinking, oh, that's me, that's me. Uh. <laughs> um, what do you think about this sort of people that you know and you're friends with? Is a movie going to be made about their lives? Uh, great exposure for them, you know, people get to see the real life behind the man themselves. Yeah. Um, I know Simon myself um, is a great guy and he's got a good passion for it. And um, yeah, and it's, it's about time that, you know, you're not just what they're not just YouTubing the videos and watching that fight. You know they're getting to know the background, the people, the stories. You know, obviously Dave's going to play a, you know a huge part in this film. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what sort of character you know they're going to put it as him, and they will get mm. to see you know the world will get to see a, a great light of what Dave's really like. You know, not just as a fighter, but you know what what he's been through and um, his whole life really. So yeah, it's uh, yeah. it's not annoying him. Always has been. So, I mean, Billy, you're sort of still pretty new to this game, so uh, in years to come, do you think maybe you'll be making a film about your life? Well, um, I don't think anyone would want to make a film about my life, if I'm honest, but to see such as like Dave and James Quinn and like, Dave, like James McCory in a film is really good. Like, loads of people think just getting in the ring is what the fight is about, but it's not. No one sees the prepare, preparation of a fight, like the training that goes in. Yeah. Loads of people see it's a fight and they think that's that. But it's not. It goes into a lot more detail than that. I'd say Billy has got to be the most sort of the opposite of Scott, the most modest fighter I've ever seen. I mean, they don't call him Bang Bang for no reason. Um, Scott, your last fight, um, you did amazingly well. You said, I mean, you told me the day before your game plan. You stuck to it perfectly with Donald McPhee. Um, you'll be fighting Ross Chittick uh, pretty soon on the 16th. Where do you see you'll be going sort of from there? Well, um, I, know, I know Ross Chipmunk really well. I mean, Chick up, yeah. Um, I know him really well. Um, he's a good lad. He's a good, f good friend of mine. He's a great fighter, very explosive. And <laughs> but um, yeah, I think I'm going to come away with win from that. And I'd, I'm praying that this summer I hopefully fight for the title. I don't know whether Dave's going to carry on or whether they're gonna, we're going to have an eliminator for it. I ain't, got, I ain't got a clue what they've got planned. But I'd like, love to fight for the title. Um, and hopefully go from there, but I've got to get a win from this fight first, yeah. more than out, so I'm not looking past this fight at all. I've made that mistake once before, and I'll never, I'll never make that again. How, I mean, you've, you've been around for a while. I mean, your last fight, it was over in seconds. The fight before that, uh, you picked up a loss, but to be fair to you, you were fighting with a broken ankle. Uh, I mean, how are you feeling about this fight with Ross? I'm confident. Um, I'm, I'm, all, I'm always confident. There's, there's no point stepping in the ring having a bit of self self doubt. You know, the, one, the, the first time you step in that ring, if you've got doubt that you may lose, well then you're not going to perform to your, be, to your best. Yeah. So as long as I don't go, cause I don't go in cocky. You know, I just go in confident. There's a, there's a difference. You know, never cross the line and be cocky because that's when you make mistakes. And I, obviously, I won't make mistakes if I stick to a game plan. What's what I've trained for. Yeah. And um, obviously, I do train hard. Um. So, the, you know, the plan for Ross is. Hit him hard, hit him fast, hit him more times than he hits me. <laughs> it's as simple as that. If it goes wrong for you and Ross knocks you out, mm -hmm. will you carry on in the game? Oh, or? absolutely. Would you rematch um, him? I know, I'd probably, no. It depends how the fight goes. I'd have to work my way back to the rematch, yeah. just like everyone else does. Mm -hmm. um, unless the fight's a great fight and I were winning and then just got caught, which, you know, obviously that's a possibility, then yeah, I'd, I'd ask for a rematch. But... Chances are he'd have another. He'd probably fight for the title himself, yeah. um, which I'd, I think he deserves it if because he's, he's on a bit of a streak. Um, but and I'd probably want to 
another fight to get my confidence back. But mm -hmm. so I've only ever, ever lost one fight in my entire life, whether it was boxing, street fighting, or anything bare knuckle. I've only ever lost one fight. That so. was when you fought me, wasn't it? Yeah, it was <laughs> in pub. Um, so <laughs> after after that after that fight, obviously you saw when I come back, I'm more determined, I'm more focused, and I'm still on the, the same track now. So. Yeah. No, it's really going to stop me at the moment. If I get, if I get knocked out, I get knocked out. I'll look, I'll watch the fight and see how I got beat, or and maybe learn from that. If I, if it's one of them where you just got caught, well then there's no you can you can't learn from that. Just protect yourself a little it's bit probably more. Probably the same of an intelligent fight. I think you'll you'll sort of look at it and see what mm. you, maybe you did wrong and learn from it. You got to. Um, Dave, you must be absolutely sick of this question, um, but I can't help but ask. You fought Roberto, uh, Roberto Duran back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You were plastering a wall, I believe, at the time. What was it like to go from doing a little bit of plastering to off to South Africa fighting uh, fighting Roberto Duran? Yeah, it was um, it was very quick, short notice. You know, I got a phone call. Uh, and we we in this phone call. Uh, I was home home in ten minutes, and w within three hours, I run my way down to um, to airport you know, in London, and yeah. and then obviously flying flying to Africa, and then get myself prepared. I only got I think I, I found that on the Tuesday. Um, I landed there late Wednesday, I think, the time I got everything sorted, and um, I was in, in Africa in um, Johannesburg on um, Saturday night. That's some going, that, mate. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you give him a bit of a run for his money. I mean, you went the distance with him. I did, yeah. Uh, but as I said, it was it was a very hard fight. Different, you know, I was nowhere near in his league, but... Yeah. Uh, was looking down on me, uh, I ended up going the distance with him, but... Um